everybody, this is Miss Morrow at College Street Elementary and today we're doing our first grade number talk. This is our fourth one, so if this is your first time to join us, there's three other number talks that you can go and find on our YouTube channel. We're kind of building up, so we've talked about subitizing small numbers, subitizing larger numbers, and now we're going to talk about counting on instead of counting all. Now, if you've forgotten what subitizing means, that's okay. It means knowing how many there are without counting. So if I showed you this picture, you should see two numbers that you recognize without counting. So you can give me a thumbs up if you recognize one number, or you can give me two fingers on your chest if you recognize both numbers. So do you recognize this number? Did you say four? And this number looks almost the same, but it has one more dot in the middle. So what would be one more than four? Did you say five? So you might have seen that there was a four and a five without counting. Now, if you had to count them, that's okay. So what we're gonna do today is put these two parts of the numbers together, and we're gonna do that by counting on. When we count on, we say the first number and then we count on the second number. So it might be that when you were counting before, you would count all of the numbers. So you would count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That's counting all of the numbers. When we're counting on, we're gonna say the five and count on from that. So that would look like this. I'm gonna say five, six, seven, eight, nine. And that's a much faster way of counting. So we're practicing counting on today. So my parts were I had five and I had four and the total is nine. I can also count on starting with the four. I can say four and then count on from that. So I would say four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and I still end up at nine. So it doesn't matter which number you start with when you're counting on. Let's see if you recognize these two numbers. So you're gonna give me a thumbs up if you see one number and you know. And you're gonna give me two fingers if you see two numbers you know. Ready? Did you see a three? Give me a thumbs up if you saw a three. And did you see a four? Give me a thumbs up if you saw a four. If you saw the three and the four, you can give me two fingers. You saw two numbers. And if we count on, I'm going to start with the four and count on. Four, five, six, seven. Did you see seven? If you saw three and four and seven at the very beginning, you saw three numbers. You could give me the hand sign for three. Good job. Let's count on another one. Are you ready? Give me one thumbs up if you see one number you know. Give me two fingers if you see two numbers you know. And you might have three fingers if you also know the total. So if we count on, we see five, six, seven, eight. And for this video, I'm always gonna count on starting on this side and moving this way. So I'm gonna count five, six, seven, eight. Oh, here comes some big numbers, are you ready? Do you see a five? Give me a thumbs up if you recognize the five. What about this number? We haven't seen this one yet today. Did you say six? Give me a thumbs up if you saw a six. So when we count on, we're gonna start with a five and count on five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. Did you say 11? Good job. All right, I'm gonna give you a chance to subitize this one and then we'll count on. So give me a thumbs up if you saw the two. Give me a thumbs up if you saw eight. Now this one's kind of tricky. It kind of looks like the six that we had before. But if you'll notice, this one had one, two, three rows. And this one has one, two, three, four rows. So we have two, four, six, eight. Can you count by twos? 
So instead of starting at 2 and counting on 8, that would take a long time, I can turn it over. I want to start at 8 and count on 2 because I can do that quickly. 8, 9, 10. Did you say 10? Good job. Alright, so now I'm going to give you a chance to do some subitizing by yourself. I'm going to show the picture, but I'm not going to tell you the parts, and I'm not going to tell you the answer. You're going to come up with that on your own. Are you ready? Here's another one. So see if you can name the parts and then see if you can name the whole. What part is this? What part is this? What makes the whole? See if you can name the parts. You might see the parts side by side. You might see parts top and bottom and then see if you can name the whole. Oh, here's a good one. Can you see besides this one? How many do you see? What about this one? You might have to subitize this one into different, you could do this picture in three parts. You could do one part here, one part there, and another part here. Can you put the three parts together? Here we go. How many parts do you see? How many are there all together? I did this one upside down, but you know what? It doesn't matter. You're going to have the same number of dots if you do it this way. Name your parts and then name your whole. Name your parts and then name your whole. Name your parts and name your whole. Were you able to subitize the whole on this one? Did you see it before you counted it? Or did you have to count it? It's okay if you had to count it. Name your parts, and then name your whole. Remember, we're counting on. So name the part, and then count on the next part. Try practicing counting on instead of counting all the dots. Let's put this one right side up. It didn't matter, did it? Name your two parts. Maybe you see four parts. You could do this as four parts. Or you could see it as parts like this. I see a sideways triangle and another triangle and another triangle. There's lots of different ways you could see these parts. And then practice counting on. So start with one of your parts and then count on. Here's another double. Name your parts. Name your whole. Practice counting on. How many did you see here? And then count on the rest. Name your parts and name your whole. Name your parts. Do you see two parts or do you see three parts? What's the whole? numbers do you see? Do you see one part? Do you see 
see two parts. Do you see two parts and the whole? I see one number, I see another number, and I know the whole. Remember, you can count on to find the whole. So if you know the part and you can say it, and you know the other part and you can say it, then you can count on. So you're naming your part and you're counting on. Woo! Can you name that part? We've seen that one before. Can you name this part? Remember, if you don't know the whole part, you can cut it up into the part into more parts. So there's a smaller part and a smaller part. We saw that as a double a while ago. And then you can count on your new part. Name your parts and name the whole. Remember, we're counting on. Start with the number and then count on the next number. They stuck together. Name your parts and name the whole. Name your parts. What part do you see over here? What part do you see over here? Can you count on? Start with this part and count on the next part. Name your parts and name the whole. Name your parts. This one's a near double. If that one was missing, it would be a double. But it's one more than a double. Name your parts and then name your whole. Oh, here's the double. See how these were similar? This one had one more dot. So do you know how many this one is? Good job. I hope that you enjoyed practicing naming your parts and naming your holes and practice counting on so you don't have to start at one every time you are counting you can start at the number that you see and then count on the next number so i don't always have to start at one two three when i go to count i can name my five and then count on six seven eight nine i hope you enjoyed this number talk and learned a lot stay tuned for more number talks coming soon see you later